back to my channel. It's your girl Jennifer Ross coming to you with another video. If this is the first time you are seeing this face, then I suggest you subscribe to my channel. I post videos every week about hair, about makeup, about anything. So if you like surprises, then subscribe girl and join my squad. Anyways, for today's video, I have my winter hair care routine for you guys. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I pre-poo, how I wash my hair, and how I style my hair after washing. Most of the time it's a wash and go or it's a twist out, a two strand twist out. So I thought like, let me slap everything together into one video and share that. If you like videos like this, give this video a thumbs up and leave me comments down below letting me know what you want to see for the rest of this winter and holiday season so yes i don't think i have anything else to say so let's just get into the video bye guys so the first thing i'm gonna do is make my pre-poo treatment and this is my recipe i use some of my favorite conditioner some honey and also some castor oil I start with the honey, I pour that into a little bowl and then I'm applying my conditioner on top and then I'm gonna pour in some of that oil, stir it all up very well and when I have a perfect consistency I'm gonna apply that to my hair. I spritz my hair with some water and then coat it with a layer of the pre-poo treatment. And here Benny was going to work so he came to give his girl a kiss and he's very camera shy so he thought he was not in focus but we saw him. Anyways I continue to step all over my hair. I just spritz my hair with water, coat my hair with the conditioner and when I have all my strands coated with the uh, pre-poo treatments I apply a plastic bag. And I also like to wrap my hair in a towel. This just helps to regulate the heat. This is uh, the greenhouse method, by the way. I leave the conditioner in for about 45 minutes and then it is time to rinse it out. So I just start by rinsing out the uh, pre-poo treatment and sometimes I will deep condition but on this particular day I decided to just co-wash because I had a lot of moisture from the pre-poo treatment so what I do I section off my hair clip away the sections that I'm not working on and then I go in with my favorite conditioner this is the loving blends conditioner from Garnier uh, I bought this one in Germany, so it's called Water Schatze, but it's still the Loving Blends Deep Conditioner. And I use my Denman brush to detangle my hair. I start on the tips and I work my way all up to the roots. And once it's all detangled, I twist up the section and I just repeat these same steps on the rest of my hair. So I just apply more of the conditioner, detangle, and then twist. Once I have all my hair twisted, I like to take a shower and do take care of my business. And once I'm completely showered and everything, I like to rinse my hair. And I keep the twists in just because it's easier that way. And I wrap my hair into a cotton t-shirt. This just helps to combat frizz. And yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's better for your hair. Next, I'm gonna show you guys my twist out routine. I'm starting off with the Curlific leave-in conditioner from FOG. I'm just spritzing that on top of my hair. Then I'm gonna use my moisturizer. This is the Lada Body one, and I'm applying that on top. And as my styling product, I'm using this Twist and Shout Cream from Curls. I'm just applying that onto my hair, detangle and just twist the section. And I basically just repeat this uh, on all the other sections of my hair. I like to just go in with my Denman brush, make sure my hair is really, really properly detangled and just apply the products and twist. This is very self-explanatory and I've done this a million times. So we're gonna just speed through this process. What I love about this is that it just leaves my hair super defined. The curls will be so moisturized. And I just love it guys so this is why it's my favorite hairstyle and it's easy I mean it's done in a sec okay you guys it is the next day and I'm gonna start taking down the twist they are completely dry you want to make sure your hair is completely dry before you start taking down the twist I'm gonna use some raw coconut oil to coat my hands with a layer of oil and also 
to help me combat the frizz. The whole consistency dissolves into something like this. Very oily. And I'm gonna like go over my hair. And then I'm gonna start in the back. do this when you're completely done but I am gonna separate the twist right now because I don't want to go back to the back when I'm done so I'll just take each strand and then separate it like two to four two, three to four times I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same on the front. And with a white tooth comb, I just pick and fluff my hair, lift up the roots a little bit, and make sure my hair becomes bigger. So next, you guys, I'm gonna take my edge control and I'm just gonna slick down my edges. Once the edges are laid and slayed, this is what it looks like. I love it. And this lasts up to seven days. I also love my hair in this half up, half down hairstyle. So here you go, very easy. And then it's time for styling option number two, which is the wash and go. I start off by spritzing my hair with some water and then I'm gonna apply some of that moisturizing styling milk from a lot of body. I apply that to the whole section and then I um, section off half or like a piece of that section and I clip away the rest and I'm gonna go in with my eco styler cocktail I already made a video about this where I go more into detail so I'll link that in the description box down below if you want more information on that but I also use my Denman brush to define my curls a little better and what I do here I just flip the brush uh, so that the curls can really be more defined and it might look a little messy right now, but once this is dry, it will be so beautiful. The curls will be so defined. So yeah, I'm just repeating that same step on the rest of my hair. Lately, I've been getting so many compliments on my hair, you guys. So if you are a curly girl out there and you don't have a Denman brush, you need to go get yourself one girl because you need this in your life. This is lit and your curls will be so happy they will look so good so go get yourself this brush i mean you, you need to go get yourself this brush okay oh girl curls be popping i be dancing moving on to the last section i'm just gonna repeat that same step curl it up with the brush and i think this section is a little stubborn because it looks super straight or maybe it's heat damaged i don't know but scrunching it really helps because it curls perfectly fine after I scrunch it. Then I'm just gonna slick down my edges using the Eco Styler Argan Oil version of the gel. I don't know, that was a lot of words. I don't know why I did that. Anyways, this works perfect for me to, ooh, don't get it in your eyes, girl. That, that that's, uh, that's not good. Anyways, just slick down your edges with this. I'm just using my hands to do this. Once my hair is completely air dried, it looks like this. This hairstyle lasts me up to seven days as well, so that's why I love it so much. I just spritz it with some water on the daily and that's perfectly fine, I'm good to go. Uh, the shrinkage is real though, so the first days, the first two days actually, I like to wear it in this puff. So let me show you how I do this puff. Basically what I do, I just pull up all my hair into this little pineapple and I take this wire scrunchie and I just take all my hair, gather it into a ponytail kind of situation and then I pull the scrunchie all over the ponytail. 
I just position it in the way I want, style it a little bit, and that's basically it. We have come to the end of this video, you guys. I hope you guys liked it. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of it and what you want to see next. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.